baby. How was your day? I know that today is usually our date night, and I know you said you weren't feeling up to it, so I figured we could order some takeout and stay in, maybe play. Yeah, that sounds good. We can get your favorite place. Hmm. Yeah. And I was thinking, maybe we could play 20 questions. I know, kind of weird. I haven't played this game since like, middle school, high school. But I'm sure there's things that we just don't know. I'm so excited to just be here with you. I feel like it's been so long since we've gotten some alone time. Quality alone time. Because I know we've just been so busy. Okay. The first question I have for you is if you could travel to any year in a time machine, what year would you choose? I know, you already know my answer, <laughs> but I want to hear about yours. <laughs> Honestly, that's a good one. I never really thought about it, but I think it would be super fascinating to go back then as well. Yeah, you'd take me with you if you could. Well, when we, uh, we find this magical time machine, uh, we should definitely make a stop to both. Mm-hmm. Of course, you know it would be sometime in the 1800s, probably in a port city. You know how much I love port cities. <laughs> yeah. Okay. What is one of your favorite childhood memories? Ah, oh, just imagining little you. I know I've seen plenty of pictures, but you're just so adorable. Yeah, I think my favorite childhood memory, I'm trying to think of one that you haven't heard. I think it would maybe be my family vacation that we took to Tennessee. We stayed in the Smoky Mountains and there was like no cell service. So it made it so everyone actually had to communicate. I think I was only like 11 or 12, <laughs> but uh, even back then we were hooked to our phones. Okay. <laughs> anyway, mm -hmm. moving on. What is your favorite movie to watch over and over again? I don't know why I'm even asking you that because I already know the answer. <laughs> yeah. I know, you always put it on to go to sleep at night. I feel like you literally watch that movie at least once a week, or maybe every two weeks. I know, I'm being dramatic. Mm -hmm. My favorite movie to watch over and over again. Um, hmm. You know I'm not big on rewatching things. But I really love The Da Vinci Code. I know it's an old one. What else do I watch? It's not a movie, but I watch Broad City over and over again. I've literally seen it a million times. Yeah. Mm hmm. Who is your celebrity crush? Of 
course, she looks like the complete opposite of me. I'm just teasing you, you know, I don't care. I could definitely be your hall pass. <laughs> My celebrity I would say, you know, I don't really think I have one. I'm more than content with you. I have eyes for no one else. So I don't think I have an answer to that question. What is the craziest thing you've ever done? In general, naughty boy. You're so crazy. I kind of wish I knew you back then. Going on some crazy adventures together. You already know the craziest thing I've ever done because uh, I have a matching tattoo. <laughs> <Think it's weird. laughs> yeah. Um, got a matching tattoo with a stranger in Belize. It was actually my first time out of the country. I don't know if I had mentioned that before. Um, yeah, I was 18. I booked a flight to Belize and I didn't even have a passport at the time. Um, so I got a passport expedited, went to Belize for two weeks by myself <laughs> and I got a matching tattoo with a stranger. Yeah, so it was pretty fun. What is an item off of your bucket list? Come on, dream big. I know you can come up with something good. That's not a good answer. I want you to think bigger. Bucket list items. Oh, now we're talking. That's a good one. Yeah. I love that. We're definitely gonna make that happen, for sure. My bucket list item, well, <laughs> it's to get to 30 countries by 30, but time's ticking here. I only have a few more years and I've only been to six countries. So I'm thinking maybe 40 by 40, you know, just to just. Life's hard. <laughs> yeah. What is the weirdest thing in your closet? No clothing item or like accessory maybe. I think the weirdest clothing item I have. I have like old band t-shirts from high school and middle school. But you know I'm really good. I'm really great at throwing things away, I know. <laughs> oh yeah, I didn't know you still kept that. I thought you told me you were gonna throw that out. <laughs> but it's funny that you still kept it. If you could have dinner with a famous person, who would it be? You can't have the same one as your celebrity crush. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, that's a great one. You know, honestly, same. I think they'd be so full of wisdom and honestly just an overall funny person. And you know I love to laugh. <laughs> That's a good one, honestly. Mm -hmm. What is your dream job?
it's important to still have dreams. For sure. Think big. You're capable of anything that you put your mind to. And you're already on your way of taking the right steps. Yeah. I love that. You're doing so great. I already know you can do it. If you could be casted on any TV show, what TV show would it be? I think I already know my answer. Oh, you know them? Of course, I was going to say Broad City because how fun would that be? Um, but then I'm like, I would kind of love to be on a cop show. Or not a cop show, but like a medical show or a cop show. Like, I used to love watching Private Practice. Maybe not that maybe I don't know I think it would just be fun to be a pretend doctor because I'm never going to be a real one oh yeah that's that's a good one Mhm. Mm I think you'd play that part so perfectly are you sure that's not your dream job there And you would be awfully handsome on that show. Make all the rest of them look bad. Mm -hmm. What is your biggest pet peeve when it comes to social media? I already know. I know. <laughs> Come on. Don't be a hater. You know, everyone's just in it for the views. I think my biggest pet peeve in social media is part twos or part, you know, when people break up like the smallest thing into multiple parts. I know I just defended it, it's all for the views, but but I hate when the answer could have been answered in a 15 second clip, but instead it takes 10 minutes of part one, part two, part three. Yeah. You know, I'm a sucker for some chocolate cake. I know, every year on my birthday, because that's the only time I get chocolate cake. I'm not even going to lie, I eat a whole cake by myself. But I deserve it, honestly. What was your favorite sport to play? Back in middle school, high school, did you play sports? I played water polo. <laughs> was I good at it? No. I always wanted to be really good at basketball because I'm, you know, I'm 5'7", but I've been 5'7 for a while. So I was like, I'm going to be a tall person. <laughs> I was taller than all the boys and the other girls. So I thought basketball was going to be it. Turned out it wasn't. Honestly, I'm just not really good at sports with balls. I always seem to get in the head. <laughs> and that is why I don't play any sports and why I quit water polo. I think you would look great in a baseball uniform. You know, you know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. I honestly forgot what question we're on. <laughs> But this one's kind of a fun one. If you were an ice cream flavor, what flavor would you be? I think you would be like a fudgy, what is it? Oh my gosh. You'd be like a rocky road, I feel like. Only because that's my favorite. And you're my favorite. <laughs> I think I would be like chocolate chip. Mint chocolate. Did I say mint? Like the green one, because like at first you're iffy about it, but mint chocolate chip is obviously delicious, sweet, but then it has that like bold mint flavor. I think I'm sweet, but very bold, very blunt. 
So I think that would be the flavor I'd place. Mm -hmm. What is your favorite song to sing in the shower? I know you would disagree, but I don't think that I sing in the shower. Um, I feel like if I am like humming a little tune, it's a TikTok song. But I know you always switch it up. But what's the one you've been singing this week? I, you think I can't hear you, but I can hear you. Mm -hmm. Especially when you hop in the shower at, while I'm cooking dinner. I don't, it's like, I could hear it plain as day. I love it, it's so cute. What is your favorite color to wear? You look so good in maroon, yeah. <laughs> my favorite color to wear is black because it kind of just goes with everything and you know with the orange hair I have to be picky about colors I know and you didn't even tell me when that I, I didn't think about it warm maroon to your mom's house and I just like all tomato makes my skin red my shirt was red my hair's red <laughs> it was so crazy no idea what question we're on, but it says that the food is about to be here any minute, so I'm gonna ask you one more question. Hopefully, it was close to 20, but <laughs> I'm not quite sure. I just enjoy spending time with you. If you were in the middle of a zombie apocalypse, what three people would you want on your team? And you better not say me because you already know how I feel about this. I don't want to be alive for it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, your best friend, I feel like he'd be really good. Yeah. A good pick. I mean, he's a bigger man. I feel like he'd know how to, I don't know, hunt, <laughs> provide. <laughs> Not that you wouldn't be great at that, but you're going to need three like-minded people, for sure. Sounds like that's the food. Uh, while I'm going to get it, why don't you let me know what three people you'd want on your team during this zombie apocalypse. And I'll be right back. 